It is an exciting day here at WSFA 12 News. We have a dozen children here for our first alert weather camp. As we welcome these young weather enthusiasts, we are talking to our meteorologist about what sparked their interest in the weather. We're joined now by first alert meteorologist Amanda Curran. Amanda, you just celebrated your 10th anniversary I here did. at WSFA. What is an anniversary, a milestone like that mean to you? Oh, well, first off, it's just wild because I graduated college and 10 years ago, it was just an honor just to even get a job in the field that you got a degree in and so it was just something that I never thought was going to take me 10 years into the future at the same place so I got to give a big shout out to Mr. Scott Duff for finding my demo reel on YouTube I saw the job listing and I didn't think I met the qualifications so I never applied for it it was in about March and I graduated in May I talked with Scott for several months and he gave me so much great feedback and coaching and then was kind of like okay well you know, we're looking at other people, but you're, you're great. And I was like, oh, well, they don't want me. And I went and looked at other jobs and then I graduated and Scott said, we want you to come down to Montgomery. And I go, oh, okay, I'm 22 years old, never, <laughs> never lived anywhere else except for New Hampshire and Vermont. And so to be able to not only just get a job in the field that I love so much, but to be able to do it here at such an amazing station with such amazing community and such a great group of coworkers too, that's me graduating right there. You can tell I'm very <laughs> excited. My mouth is never shut. I joke to people, I was like, if I got paid per word. Whew, I would be make a lot of money. I would make a lot of money. That's me. I love the green screen right there. That's me hugging the green screen in college. So it's been an amazing 10 year journey. I just never thought that I would still be doing this and still be learning and having a great time. And I didn't really think that I was going to survive 10 years of Alabama humidity, but here I am here standing strong. <laughs> Thankful for the AC. Yeah, sure. the what AC made you good. want to be a meteorologist? Do you remember? Yeah, so a lot of people, and like that was the big thing when you were a freshman in college, they would say, like, why did you want to be a meteorologist? And I'd say, out of 25 people in my class, 24 of them said, oh, it was this blizzard, or it was this thing of thunderstorms. And for me, it was always just clouds. I was so mm -hmm. young, I used to always just look up at the sky and be like, what are those? Why are they different shapes? Why do they move different? What are they made out of? And I always tell kids when I go on school visits, my mom was like, oh yeah, they're made out of like cauliflower and broccoli <laughs> and cotton candy. And I was like, Tch. That's a lie. And so I just was always so interested in science. I was really good at math. I feel like that's one of those subjects, like you either really love math or you really don't like it. I always really loved math. And so really meteorology is the study of calculus and physics. And so those are just the two subjects I really strived and loved in school. And I just had a thirst for wanting to know more about anything science related. So I took every single science class I could in, in high school. And then it was my computer science teacher, actually, ninth grade, Mr. McDonough. Hey, Mr. McDonough, if you still work at Campbell High School, wow, thank you, I appreciate that. We had to make a pamphlet and said, if you were going to tell someone about a future career you'd be interested in, you have to go on the computer. This is when the internet was first kind of like up and coming in schools and do the research and figure out what are the requirements? What kind of pay? What things can you do? And I just remember saying, what does somebody who like weather do? And he goes, that's a meteorologist. And I started doing the research and I started seeing that there were colleges and then I was like, oh, I could do this and all the different options. And it kind of just fell into my lap and, I got early acceptance into college my junior year, knew exactly where I wanted to go, and I was the first one in my graduating class to get accepted into college, and I just remember being like, this is it, and there was, there's, there's no other option. I don't know what I would do if it wasn't for a job like this. It was meant to be. You are a woman in a male-dominated field. Mm -hmm. How does it make you feel standing before these young ladies, these girls here today who want to follow in your footsteps? It's, I, I think it's most of all my favorite part. I mean, I love what we do on the day-to-day -day of telling you the forecast, helping you prepare but going out into schools and having kids come into our weather camp and showing them that you can quite literally do anything, whether it is science, math related, or it's maybe a field where there are a lot more men. And don't get me wrong, the, the men that I've worked with in the past 10 years. Josh has been here the whole time. I love Nick. Nick is one of my weather besties over there. They are also amazing and it's just so great to be able to show people that you can literally do anything. It doesn't matter where you come from. I'm not from Alabama. I'm originally from New England, but here I am forecasting the severe weather that happens down in the deep south. You can literally do anything that you set your mind to as long as you put in a lot of hard work and you have some determination. And so it's great to be able to tell people, say, hey, I'm an example of that. And maybe it's inspiring somebody to be a future meteorologist here at WSFA one day and that's just amazing to know that even if you can impact and inspire one person because I never saw anybody like me on TV mm -hmm. I love the meteorologists that I grew up watching but they didn't look like me and so to be able to have them as mentors and to teach me that I could do that same job too is absolutely amazing I know you're inspiring little girls out there here in studio mm -hmm. and watching today